Hi everyone, Sean here with Reality Forge. And a couple of hours ago, Epic released the game animation sample project. A number of people have been asking and waiting for this project because it contains those 500 animations we heard about at GDC. If you're interested in motion matching, there were a number of people that viewed our video on it. This project fully implements it. And there's going to be a video about it tomorrow on the Unreal Engine YouTube channel explaining how they set it up. In this video, we're going to explore the sample project and learn how to integrate a Mixamo character into it. To download this project, click on samples and then click on game animation sample and then create project. When the project opens, click on the play and editor button and then you can use W, S, A and D as you would do with a third person template to move around. There's three buttons at the back here that change the color scheme of the level. So light, dark and colorful. And you can head on over to this pad to teleport to the first obstacle course. There's five of them in total demonstrating vaults, climbs and jumps. At the end of each each obstacle course is a pad that teleports you to the next one and the fifth obstacle course I just couldn't get right. Let me know if you're better than me, you probably are, but if you press the control key, the character will not run but instead walk and then pressing control again transitions back from walk to run. Back here we have three more buttons and the game animation widget is pretty interesting. It gives you feedback when buttons are pressed on a controller, you can change your characters and also turn on some debugs such as movement and trajectory. You'll remember trajectory from our motion matching video or any other one that you saw which is how the engine is deciding what animation to play. Next we have view controls which gives you all the buttons to interact with the sample project and a readme file as well. To find those 500 animations navigate to characters and then UEFN mannequin. In here you'll find an animations folder and these are where all those 500 animations are. So if I open run you can see a whole bunch of animations here that you can right click and migrate to any other Unreal Engine project. We got a lot of questions about jump, sprint and crouch. Now jump has been demonstrated in this project. Sprint and crouch are coming to motion matching in 5.5. If you on your own want to explore motion matching and how it's been implemented in this sample project, the animation blueprint is where you start. There's a bunch of nodes here that have all been commented out and I'm very excited to see how they've set this all up in tomorrow's video. While playing around with the sample project, I was really interested to see how Mixamo would work with it. Is it's a really good way to rig your own characters and has a whole bunch of characters that you can download for free. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the James character that you can find over here. And by default, it's going to play an animation. In the characters tab, if you refresh the page, you'll end up with the same character in a T pose. The reason we're doing this is because we don't want any animation, we just need our character. Then download this character at its default settings. Next, let's open up Mixamo Converter, enter the conversion process, and then scroll all the way down. Click to open the folder where the source animations need to go and paste the file that you downloaded from Mixamo. It'll then show up over here and then you can click to start the conversion process. Once this completes, open the output folder and this is the file we're going to import into Unreal. Back in Unreal, we're going to open the characters folder and inside this folder, we're going to create a new folder and name it Mixamo. Double click to open this folder and then right click and choose import and then select the file that you got from Mixamo Converter. In the import options, we're going to set the skeleton to SK underscore UE4 mannequin. The reason we're choosing UE4 mannequin is because if you are using Mixamo Converter, you'll get an error with the other skeletons. With your Mixamo character imported and linked to the UE4 skeleton, open the blueprints folder and then your game mode sandbox. Here, we're going to change our default pawn class to CPB sandbox UE4 mannequin. Now, when you click play and editor, the UE4 mannequin is going to spawn with motion matching working. Let's go back to our game mode and reveal where our sandbox UV4 mannequin exists in our project. Then we're going to double click to open this. On the left under components, select skeletal mesh and then on the right, choose the file that was created when you imported your FBX file from Mixamo Converter. After doing this, you'll notice your character's hands are pointed outwards and once we fix this, it'll start working with the sample project. Let's start by going to the UE4 mannequin folder, then rigs and open this retargeter UEFN to UE4. On the right here, change target preview mesh to the Mixamo skeletal mesh. Then we're going to reduce our target mesh scale to bring it as close as you can to the UEFN skeleton. Then we're going to pause the running retarget so that we can edit the retarget pose. Your objective here is to bring the Mixamo skeleton to as close as possible to that A pose of the UEFN skeleton. If you've never done this before, you can select the bone on the left and then you can rotate it to get it where you want. The closer you get to that pose of the UEFN skeleton, the better your animation is going to look. I'm going to slow down the video here to explain how I fix the fingers. Each of the fingers you want to rotate the middle and the tip bone so that it's pointing straight. So middle or two, rotate on the Z, blue and then middle O3 once again rotates so that it's pointing straight. We're going to repeat this again on ring O2, rotate so it's pointing straight, and then the same for ring O3. Repeat this entire process for all fingers. The final step in this process is to have the fingers pointing downwards like the UEFN skeleton is doing. So select the bone underscore O2, for example, and then rotate it on the X axis so that these bones or these fingers are pointing downwards. So I'm just going to speed up this part of the video as I repeat the same process for the right hand and all of the right fingers. 
If this is your first time doing this, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer you get to the pose of that underlying UEFN skeleton, the better your Mixamo character is going to integrate with the sample project. Once you're done, play an editor, and now you'll notice your Mixamo character is the one running around doing all the fun stuff that this animation sample project aims to demonstrate. While it's not perfect and quite manual, I do hope in the near future there's a more automated way to get these Mixamo characters in an A pose so that they integrate with Unreal Engine better. If you know of a way, let me know in the comments below, but I leave all of you with my failed attempts at obstacle course number five. I finally got it here only to miss the platform that came right after this one. With that said, everyone, give us a like, give us a sub, and I will see you in the next one.